Hi, my name is Victoria Wills, um, and for those of you who don't know me, I own and run the New Beginnings Weight Loss Retreats uh, in Europe. We've been running for more than five years, um, and in that time I've lost well over 120 pounds in weight. So um, I am speaking from, from an area of expertise and also from an area of having been there and uh, achieved fairly significant results for myself. Um, and I want to talk to you today about this 5-2 diet. Um, in my email, I think I called it the express diet, um, which was me being idiotic. It's, it's called the fast diet. Easy mistake. Um, so yeah, the 5-2 diet or the fast diet. Um, in the five years that I've really sort of dedicated myself to weight loss and research in this area, um, I have never received so many emails as I have about this diet. It really seems to have caught people's imagination. So I just want to take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about it. Um, if you don't know the 5-2 diet, the theory is that um, for two days of the week, you fast, basically. Um, so for women, that means you eat 500 calories, and for men, it means you eat 600 calories. So um, the rule is that your fast days must be non-consecutive days. So for example, you'd eat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you'd fast on Thursday, you'd eat Friday and Saturday, and you'd fast on Sunday, just as an example. Um, and the, the sort of selling factor to the diet is that you can eat whatever you want um, for the five days, and then you're going to make up for it. and magically lose weight on the other two uh, as a combination. Um, now, many, many people talk to me about how they eat brilliantly and they do terribly well from Monday through to Friday and then kind of lose the plot on Saturday and Sunday and they find that they are piling on the weight. Um, now, if we reverse that, which is this one, which is eat whatever you want Monday through to Friday and then have two days where you don't eat very much, that's not going to work. Um, so actually, when you read the diet, um, the kicker isn't that you can eat whatever you want for the for the five days. It's they expect you to be eating low glycemic foods within a fairly restricted calorie range. Not restricted, but 2,000 for a woman and 2,500 for a man. So um, they they say this works by um, when your body doesn't have um, glucose as a fuel, it will then work through other fuel sources. So their claim is that the first fuel source your body will use is glucose, absolutely true. Then it says your body will move on to glycogen. Um, glycogen, just in case you don't know, is stored, um, stored glucose in the liver, that's all glycogen is. And also, absolutely true, that will be the second fuel source. But then the diet sort of magically moves into when you don't have those two fuels available because it's a fast day um, that your body is magically just going to start burning off the fat and sadly that isn't true. Uh, what your body will do is um, start burning off muscle mass and fat mass. So uh, glucose is the first fuel, true. Glycogen is the second, also true. Uh, magically nothing's going to happen to your muscle and it's just going to be uh, fat, it's, it's totally not true. Okay, so that's kind of the theory behind it. Um, and then the diet goes on to make um, some, some different health claims. Um, the first claim is that by eating this way, you're gonna improve your, your memory and you're gonna improve your brain function. Um, and the theory is that the intermittent dieting um, is going to produce a protein that actually grows the hippocampus in the brain. Okay, and the, the protein that actually they're talking about is brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which I'm just going to call BDNF from now on, because that's easier. Um, but the, the theory is that this intermittent fasting is going to increase the levels of BDNF, which has been shown um, to increase, to grow the uh, hippocampus in the brain, and that is the part of the brain that's been shown to shrink in Alzheimer's patients, uh, and that is absolutely proven and well known. Um, 
The problem with their theory is that they have only proved that this intermittent fasting has that effect in mice. Uh, I'm not a mouse, you're hugely unlikely to be a mouse. Um, so whilst it certainly suggests areas of research that would be very interesting, uh, it does not prove that it's going to have any great effect on our memories. Um, and before I get too negative about the uh, BDNF, um, the, their second claim is that uh, it will improve mood. Um, it will decrease anxiety and improve mood. Um, and the way that they tested this was they took two sets of subjects. Um, one, they increased the levels of BDNF, and the other group, uh, they gave anti-depression medication. And the, the, the responses of the two different groups were, were very similar. Uh, so that all sounds quite impressive until you read a bit more of the research and realize that this test was not on mice, good news, but it was on rats. So again, not exactly conclusive for the humans. Um, and then their, really their, their most important claim from a, from a weight loss perspective is that this is going to increase your insulin sensitivity. Um, and the reason we care about insulin sensitivity, if I just boil this down to the basics, is when you eat um, a food that is um, sugary, starchy, carby, um, then your blood glucose levels rise. And when your blood glucose levels rise beyond a certain point, your body will produce insulin to draw the excess glucose out of the blood and generally store it in the liver as the glycogen we were just talking about. Um, now, the problem with the insulin levels is if they remain elevated, then actually uh, the insulin levels are encouraging the fat cells to absorb more fat as well. So we don't want that. Um, and the, the theory behind the, the intermittent fasting is that by eating this way, actually you're going to increase your insulin sensitivity, so the body is still perfectly good at removing the glucose from your blood and storing it as glycogen, but actually it's not maintaining those levels for long enough for the, for the fat cells to be um, encouraging more fat into the fat cells. Well, that's great, okay, and that, that's proven, we all know that, or we do now. Um, but that's absolutely true of any diet which is limiting or think, limiting carb intake or at the very least considering what kind of carbs you're eating. Uh, for example, the GI diet, the GL diet, the Atkins diet, the Dugan diet, these all focus on, on carb levels um, and they are all going to increase uh, your insulin sensitivity. So there's absolutely nothing special about the 5-2 diet with regards to increasing your insulin sensitivity. Any healthy eating plan, anything that talks about blood sugar levels or where you're considering the amount of sugar or carbs or the speed of the release of the sugar from the food is going to increase your insulin sensitivity. Um, okay, so having said all that, is this diet bad for you? Is it actively going to damage you in some way? Um, for the majority of the population, no. Um, I do have some caveats for that. Uh, one, if you're pregnant, planning on being pregnant, considering being pregnant in the near future, don't do it. Uh, the two fast days, you're not going to get the nutrients that your body needs, uh, and it's, it's not going to be good for you. Uh, the second group um, would be uh, if you are diabetic and on medication, you, you need to be careful. Fast days are not a good idea, um, and certainly not without some kind of medical supervision. And the third group is one um, which is less obvious. Uh, the third group is anyone who is or has had any kind of binge eating behavior. Um, now for me, one of the things that I like to do is I like to try all these new diets as they come out um, so that I can, I can talk to our guests about it. Um, how did I feel? How was my mood? Was I starving? Was I happy? Was I, you know, how, how did it work for me? And actually, this 5-2 fast diet is one that I absolutely won't do, and I'm, I'm not going to try it. And the reason I'm not going to try it is because I have a, a past history of, of binge eating behavior, and I do not want to trigger off any of those associations, any of those behaviors, um, by entering into a fasting state. Um, and the reason for that is that most binge eaters 
or people who have any kind of binge eating behavior will have a period of eating a huge amount of food and then what, what we would call a purge, um, which for some people is, is literally purging, uh, vomiting or laxatives, and for some people is just starving yourself for a period of time. Um, now, our bodies have memory, and if you go into that sort of past learned behavior um, by going into a fast, it's not a good idea. So this is one diet that actually I'm not going to do to test out. Um, it's, it's not going to hurt you, it's not going to harm you, but equally, it, it doesn't seem overly sustainable for me. I think the science behind it leads to some interesting questions, but it's certainly not proven, um, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it over a long-term healthy eating plan, such as the low GL or the low GI. Um, I think those, those are much more obvious, uh, more proven um, eating regimes. Um, and interestingly, um, when I sent out the, the email asking whether anyone wanted to see this video, I got a, a fair number, I mean, I got a huge number of replies, but I got a fair number of, of people emailing me, telling me that either they're doing this diet, or they've just done this diet, or they've tried this diet. So 78 people at the time that I'm recording this um, told me, that they either have just done it or are doing it. Um, and of the 78, 18 said that it was working really well for them. They were doing the fast days and they were really surprised that they weren't binging and weren't overeating on the following days. Uh, and it was working really well for them, so that's great. Uh, 58 said that they tried it, but they couldn't stop eating on the eating days. Um, those people, I would suggest, are probably in the sort of Binge, binge behavior group that I was just talking about. Those people, this diet is never gonna work for. It is not a good idea, stop. Um, and two, rather brilliantly said, they never made it to the end of a fast day. So they never actually managed a day where, where they only ate the 500 or the 600 calories. So yeah, that was just out of interest. Um, so there you go. Um, at the moment, I'm working on our New Beginnings Inner Circle um, diet. I'm working on the, the food regime and uh, relaunching uh, some of the support materials that go with it. Um, our regime is based entirely on low GL, so glycemic load foods. Um, this is proven, it's really effective, um, and it's terribly good for you. So, that, I mean, there really, there really are no downsides, and it doesn't make any any special claims, it's not going to say that you can eat as much chocolate cake as you want five days of the week and then, and then not bother for another two. So, uh, if you're interested in, in learning a bit more about that, I'm just finishing off um, working on it now. So if you'd be interested in being one of the first people that uh, gets to see the, the new launch in a circle, uh, just reply to this email or uh, reply to any of the emails I send you. Uh, and I'll put you on the uh, advanced notice list to let you know about um, the new program that's just about to come out. Okay, well that's it for me. I'm going to go enjoy the sunshine in France, and um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was interesting, and uh, I'll see you soon.